Hello everyone, this is Ken from Indigo Collab. So today we're gonna do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to record yourself while doing a PowerPoint presentation. Of course, in this day and age, you know you need to learn how to adapt and innovate to the new normal while also taking advantage and max maximizing the available technology. So from time to time, you need to do presentations using the internet as a medium. So how do you do this? If you're doing this for a select audience and you're doing it live, you can easily use software applications such as Zoom or Google Meet where you can easily share your screen while doing the presentation. But if you're doing this for multiple audience members and you're they're watching your presentation in different times, you might as well record yourself and the PowerPoint presentation. So how do you do this? Well, you can use video editing software where you can take a video of yourself while also recording your PowerPoint presentation and do the editing yourself. But this is assuming you already know basic editing, okay? But if you're not a techie person like me and you don't have to go through the editing process, how do you do this? How do you do what I'm doing right now? Wherein I talk and I can easily shift the slides like this. Okay, so how do I do this? I'm using a software application called OBS. So I'm gonna show you. First, you just have to open your browser and then search for OBS. And it will be the first suggestion. It's called Open Broadcaster Software. So just click on it and then click whatever you're using. So I'm using Windows, I just click Windows. And then it will automatically download itself. So you just have to save it. Okay. It will take some time since it's a huge file, so just be patient and wait for it to finish downloading. Now, obviously, I already downloaded it in the, in the past, so I don't have to wait for it. So after it's, it's done downloading, you just click on the, the installer file, or you can go to wherever it was saved. So. This is the one, it's called OBS Studio Full Installer. Okay, so just click on it and I don't have to go through the installation process with you. It's very straightforward and it's very simple. So you just have to go through it, it's self-explanatory. Okay, so once it's done installing, you just have to launch OBS. OBS, so it's called OBS Studio. Now, OBS, the OBS Studio will look like this. So this is what OBS will look like if you just started using the application. The black screen is basically what you want OBS to record. So what you're, what you're gonna do is put the display capture or the screen, whatever is in, in your laptop or desktop will be recorded. So what you're gonna do is right click the black screen and then you're gonna have to click add and then click display capture okay so once you're done adding the display capture it will record the screen basically of your laptop so as you can see here it's recording itself recording itself recording itself recording itself recording itself that's why it looks like that but if you shift let's say to your PowerPoint presentation it will look like this as you can see it's already recording my PowerPoint. So if I click on that, see it, it already records my PowerPoint presentation since I shifted to the PowerPoint. Okay. And then how did I add myself here? Okay. How did I add a video of myself? So I'm going to take out myself first. I'll see you in a while. So what I did is basically the same thing as I did with the display capture. I just click, I just right click and then click add and then click video capture device and click OK. And voila, there I am. Now I can easily, I can switch wherever I want my face to be. Click here, put it there. I can make it bigger or smaller depending on your preference, okay? And then, once you're ready, you just click Start Recording. 
And when you already click start recording, it will already record whatever it is that you're presenting on your screen while showing your face. This is of course assuming that your laptop or desktop has a built-in camera, okay? And then once you're done, you just have to click stop recording and then it, it will automatically save itself in your videos folder. Or if not, you can just check your settings, click settings, click output, and the recording path here shows you where the video will be saved, okay? OBS will not just record PowerPoint presentations like what I'm doing now. It can also record yourself, let's say, watching a video and doing a reaction. Hello everyone, this is Ken from Indigo Cool. <laughs> That's me doing another tutorial, okay? This is just one of the many platforms that Indigo Collab uses. Indigo Collab is a learning organization that provides relevant and experiential learning for the evolving workforce. So as you can see, the market is evolving already, the workforce is evolving already, so we need to learn how to evolve as well and how we do training. So we do different types of training like instructor-led classroom training, interactive methods training, hands-on training, coaching and mentoring, video training like what I'm doing now, Hello. and e-learning. So if you want to partner with your training, you can collaborate with us.